so after you must have finished to masking your last you take your center line get your vamp line get your quarter line and then also get your low lateral in step point we are going to need them for this pattern so after doing that you take a measurement from here down to this point to one and a half inch one and a half inch and after that you turn the back of the last take three inch from the back of the last to this point three inch take it here then right now we're going to start the diagram or the drawing from the instep point that measurement we are going to join it down to the measurement 3 inch on the feather of the last then the next thing you are going to take a measurement from here from the line towards the side 1.8 inch you can make it 2 inch depending but just to make it 1.8 inch so we take it from that line and uh, here is it here so I believe you can see a uh, lateral quarter line so the line is going to stop at that quarter line so right now we're going to take another measurement from here down to this point we're going to take 0 0.8 inch 0 0.8 inch so we take it then take the line again from that point so you see our quarter line here so that is where the line is going to stop at so it stops at the quarter line here so you see it that we already have the design the opening at the side here so we're going to take another measurement from here towards this place 0 0.3 inch 0 0.3 inch from the center line 0 0.3 inch then from here down to this point we're going to take 0 0.8 inch 0 0.8 inch so we are going to join the measurement from here down to this point to the center line so hope you can see that so we are done with the drawing i believe you can see it clearly the next thing now is to cut out the pattern and then paste it on our cardboard paper to develop it So after removing it from your from your last, draw a straight line on your cardboard paper. You see the line here. So we're going to place from the thumb point to the cap on the straight line, and then the rest is going to somehow go over the straight line. So just based on the last I used. So you going to take your time to make sure you avoid too much crease and uh, make sure the pattern is intact so you take your time to paste it on the cardboard paper so I'm going to give this side some slight cut remember don't cut on the bump line in the stand so let's give some slight cut then make sure it 
it um, laps properly on the cardboard paper. So after doing that, take a line from the vamp point to the tongue to help you to spring the vamp, then from the vamp point again to the cap. And after doing that also, you retrace your vamp line. So use your pencil to make sure you fix wherever is necessary to be fixed. Make sure that all the curves aligned are intact, correct where necessary. So after doing that you add your lasting allowance and the lasting allowance is going to be one and a half inch one and a half inch so that so that you're going to have enough um, later while lasting so you're going to add that up round from the cap down to the feather to the end of the pattern so after that take this line down and then join your lasting allowance to become a line. Then you connect this down to your lasting allowance Make sure you connect it properly. Connect the two lines down to your lasting allowance. So with that, we are done with the development of the pattern. So the next thing is to cut this into shape. So we have cut it into shape. The next thing is to spring the vamp. So cut slightly from your vamp line to your lateral quarter instep point. So you cut from both sides to your lateral instep point. So low lateral instep point. Here is it. Here is it. You see it. The line here. Point. So get your masking tape ready and then place the pattern on your straight line and then spring the vamp. Make sure the straight line is on that straight line on the cardboard paper. So when you are sure it is done, use your masking tape to hold it firm so that it won't move from that position so with that the pump is printed so now the next thing we are going to cut out our marking dots on the necessary spots so now we are able to get the 3d pattern so i'm done cutting the marking dots you can see it so you can see it so right now we are going to fold our cardboard paper into two equal parts see it to a core part and once we are done doing that we place the pattern on that edge of the folding and then trace out the 2d pattern
so as you can see we are done doing that the next thing we are going to join the lines we're going to make the dots line so join the dots to have a clear diagram So after doing that, we cut the pattern into shape. And so with that, we are done with the whole process. You can see what we have. So don't always forget to mark the facing of your pattern. So this is what I've done. See the facing, see it here. So that is that on this pattern you can see how it looks on the last so you see how it looks if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section and uh, also don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon because more videos are still coming on the way uh, practice try out the pattern and uh, i will see you in our next video have a nice day